I spent hours in the, I forgot I was playing cranked. <laughs> I just cleaned my setup last video. It's already a mess again. Are my pumpkins in frame? We're good. Come on. Yeah, there you go. You can sit here. Anyways. Hey y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. Full of positivity and happiness as always. <laughs> and for today's video, I am feeling perfect today. I have so much energy. I listened to some Doom Eternal soundtrack before recording because that's a good idea. I'm hyped up. I'm ready to talk about some things. I love the world of gaming. <laughs> you ever lose your train of thought in the middle of talking? Well, that just happened. For today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the PlayStation Showcase. And in honor of that, we're going to be using the PS5 scuff, the Reflex. I normally play with the scuff instinct, which is an Xbox controller. But today, in honor of the PlayStation Showcase, just in case there's, you know, an exclusive that I really want to play in the future, I got to relearn this controller again. <laughs> it seems to be the go-to for a lot of pro players, too. I don't know why I don't use this. By the way, this is my scuff design. Uh, I've shown you many a times, but I'll show you again. That's me right there. She says, objective player. I'm so sorry I bumped the microphone. I'm gonna be trying this today. We'll see how it goes. You can use code Butters, by the way, if you want to on uh, any of your scuff purchases. Totally your call, you don't have to, but I am using this. I'm excited. I already have my headset on. Okay, let's hop to the video game. I normally put it on to hop into the video game. Here we are, back on some Modern Warfare 2. So for today's video, okay, I have so many weapons ready for the gold grind, but I don't think I have the cast off 74U ready yet. So we're gonna use this today. Point blank kills and crouch kills. Okay. And if I get bored, crossbow. Wh whenever it wants to show up. Is it not going to show up? It's in the box. <laughs> Why is it hiding in the box? Whatever, dude. Okay, let's just hop into some cranked. I like cranked. Wow. Cranked. But while we're playing, I do want to talk about the PlayStation Showcase. So there were so many games that were in between games. I want to talk about the PlayStation Showcase. Oh my gosh, guys. Alan Wake 2. Are you kidding me? I was sitting in the living room on my couch. I went, yeah! I screamed. I was so excited about Alan Wake 2. I remember sitting in my parents' basement and playing on the giant flat screen TV. I was lounging on the couch and I was absolutely enthralled with the story of Alan Wake. So to get a second one and it looks like kind of a survival horror. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm so excited. How do I mute the lobby? Oh. <laughs> The controls haven't changed much. I'm just on a different controller, but that doesn't... Oh my god. Oh, look at that. We're on this museum map. We can we can go to the microphone. He's my favorite. I'm looking up Alan Wake. This game was released May of 2010. It has been 13 years. What? Anyways, off we go. Uh, This is... I'm keyboard and mouse. Are you kidding me? This is... I... Pause button. <laughs> I was trying to press the start button where it normally is on my other controller, but I'm just pulling up the scoreboard. I gotta go. <laughs> this is off to a great start. What's free in the store? This is cute. I will take it. I like the art. Will I use it? Probably not, but it is cute. Can I please get a controller? Thank you. Anyways, where was I? Yeah, Alan Wake came out May of 2010. That's wild. Back when I was in high school. So I, I have accidentally meleeed because I, <laughs> I accidentally pressed the pedal. Can I please get a crouch kill? Thank you. Thank you so, so much. My paddles are switched. I could switch them back, but... Too late now, I'm recording. No. Got a crouch kill. Need those. So this has happened. How do I mount? How do I mount? <laughs> Jump, Hannah. <laughs> I was not expecting to, to not do so good. <laughs> At least I learned how to mount. Oh, there he goes. No, please. I, I meant to jump and then I knifed the air. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'm really pumped about Alan Wake 2. I'd say that's probably the game I was most excited about during the showcase. I'm looking at a list of the games here. Oh, Immortals of Avium? Avium? I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like an FPS, but with magic powers, and it looks sick. I don't think we saw any gameplay. Okay, well, that's a disaster. My guns did a spin move. Did you see that? I think what we saw wasn't gameplay footage. It was all just cinematic, but it still looked cool. Let me get the Mountain Guild note. I keep knifing the air. <laughs> I don't want this gameplay to be a pure reflection of the PS5 reflex. Don't be thinking if you buy this controller, you're going to play like me. You're going to play way better than me. It's just a matter of actually getting used to it. <laughs> this is the controller that pro players tend to use. So just throwing that out there. I do like the stick placement more than I was expecting. Anyways. Oh, there was a game called Cat Quest Pirates of the Purbian. Are you kidding me? It's like Caribbean, but Purbian. Because cat. Did you hear that, cats? I bet you they'd want to play it. Where are my cats? cranked. Defeat. <laughs> oh, they showcased Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. 
they put in a jump scare during the showcase. That is foul. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. It was sick and very unexpected, but why did they do that? That's not nice. They just traumatized a whole bunch of people. <laughs> a whole new generation is going to grow up and say, you guys remember during the showcase when we got jump scared by the, the what, what, what do they call them? Animatronics? I don't even remember which one it was. I played Five Nights at Freddy's one time. And that's all I needed. <laughs> so apparently, isn't it in VR or something? I don't know. They're remastering Metal Gear Solid. I've never played Metal Gear Solid in my life. I would love to try it. They announced another Assassin's Creed game, Mirage, which is cool. There was a lot of VR content that they announced, which is super exciting. PSVR 2? Yes, we love seeing VR succeed. What else did they announced? Oh, Marathon? I don't really know what Marathon is, but it looks really cool. It's kind of cyberpunky and... Very dystopian. I think it's an FPS, maybe? I'm not too sure, but it looked really interesting. It was a cinematic trailer, but still. Don't talk to me today, but maybe tomorrow. <laughs> you are so smooth, and I am not. Okay, I need to use the other controller. I'm not used to this, but I won't. I'm gonna get used to this. The sticks feel really nice. I wasn't expecting to like the sticks next to each other as much as I do. I also haven't played COD in maybe a week and a half. Hey guys, look, ear. It's not ear, it's bar. <laughs> Funny. I think a game or two of shipment is gonna be a. Uh... Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hello. Very good. Yes. I hope you're having a great day. Crash kills. I think I gotta play a couple games of shipment just to warm up and get used to my shot again. I'm giving myself whiplash with my shot. Oh, wait, mount. Oh, I, think I couldn't mount. No. Mount. No. Okay. Some other games that piqued my interest. Oh, Foam Stars. I saw it and said, this looks like a combination between Splatoon and Valorant, and I'm kind of into it. Then I saw the gameplay and said, yeah, that's definitely a combination of the two. But it adds verticality with the foam. I'm excited to see how that plays out. Character design is amazing. Man, I'm getting crouch kills, but I'm randomly knifing all the time. <laughs> Got a mount of kill. Let's go. Uh, Street Fighter 6, that's always exciting. Back when I was in college running that uh, collegiate gaming club, Street Fighter was one of the big games to play. That and Mortal Kombat. And Super Smash Brothers, of course. But the next Street Fighter, I think Street Fighter is one of the greatest fighting games ever created. It is so difficult, I can't even play it. And because of that, I respect it so much. <laughs> the people who know how to play Street Fighter are terrifying gamers. Great. Is there anything else that stood out to me? Oh, the Spider-Man 2 little gameplay showcase at the end was very cool. Yeah, what an amazing showcase overall. I don't have a PS5, but I definitely wanted to watch the showcase just to see where we're at in gaming. And I gotta say, that showcase was incredible. I was sitting on my couch fangirling the entire time. Yep, yep, let's just knife Hannah instead of jump. <laughs> Something else I want to talk about in this video, I did recently attend MomoCon. MomoCon is a gaming, anime, just nerd convention that takes place in Atlanta, Georgia. Crouch, chill, yes, crunch. I only went for one day. I wasn't planning on going, but I decided last minute, why not? The first MomoCon that I went to was back in 2009, I'm pretty sure. I was 14 years old. It took place at Georgia Tech and it got so big that they now have to rent out an entire convention center. Love to see that. It's so severe. Why do they have to make the explosion so severe? <laughs> Truth be told, I didn't vlog the experience or anything, but I just went, had a good time, posted to my Instagram story a couple times. I picked up a couple of things while I was there that I wanted to show y'all. I spent hours in the... I forgot I was playing Cranked. <laughs> How could I forget? I heard a counter. I thought the game was ending. <laughs> I can't... Oh, okay, okay. I couldn't... I mounted, but I couldn't turn... Oh, I'm telling you though, I'm in a really good mood today. Sun is shining. It's a beautiful Sunday for me. I'm going to go to the lake in a bit. There's a little party that's happening there uh, for the boat owners. So I got invited. They said, everybody on the dock wants to meet you. I said, oh my gosh, really? That's cute. Defeat. Good game. Good game. Hey there, brothers. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good. Keep up your good work on your camo challenge. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. You too. Oh, that's wholesome. Oh, what was I saying? I forget what I was saying. I bought stuff at MomoCon. It was fun time. I want to show you. Is that okay? I'm going to do it. We'll start with this little pumpkin pin. Come on. It was meant to be. Do you see my little pumpkins right here? It just, how could I not? I got this little pink grenade pin that says ready to blow. I thought it was quite cute. I got a little Squirtle ramen pin that I think is super cute. Squirtle is my favorite out of the original trio. Got this controller because it has stars and it's pink. It's Kirby, which is cool, but like the stars and the pink, come on, I had to do it. I'm sticking those pins onto my convention bag, by the way. I've shown you all this before. I'm a big fan of it. The window's in the shape of a pumpkin. I picked up a random manga that I thought sounded super cheesy. So there you go, ocean, boats, water, yeah. Oh, you guys are gonna love these, ready? 
I got these little keychains of Michael Myers from Halloween and Jason from Friday the 13th. The Michael one was broken. You see his leg? It broke off. So they said you can have him for free. So that was very nice of the people at the booth. Thank you. I uh, I got some Machamps. Just a couple. Not too bad. Machamp is my favorite Pokemon. And I love to collect Pokemon cards of Machamp. So here you go. I'll show you individually, actually. I had this one already, but it needed a friend. It didn't. I just wanted it. I got two of these, which I think are so cool. I'm not really following the Pokemon TCG right now, but I thought this art was phenomenal. And of course, there was a base set one, so I had to get it. It's a little beat up, but I don't care. I will love it no matter what. I have so many of these. I don't care. I will continue to collect them forever. <laughs> and I got two shirts, one for me and one for my sister. This is the one for me. Ta-da! Omocon does this thing where the mascots are a hero and a villain. I always get the hero shirt, so this is what it is this year. And my sister always gets the villain one. Here's how this one looks this year. It kind of reminds me of Bioshock. Like, this is the one for Rapture, and the other one is for Columbia. And I think that's really neat because I love Bioshock. Oh, I got a poster. Oh my gosh, it's breathtaking. I will put it on the screen. The microphone doesn't go that far. I'll put it on the screen over here. Do you see it? It's Sailor Moon and it's beautiful. I love it. I think I'm going to put it in my dining room. And then last but not least, I guess I have my convention badge. So there you go. Always fun to collect these over time. I only went on the Saturday, but I had so much fun. There's the lanyard as well. I didn't even look at it till now. Do I recognize anybody on here? No, I don't. Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead. I have no idea what that is, but uh, if y'all want to tell me, that would be cool. I don't know. Looks neat. Wait, it's double weapon XP? I didn't even know. Oh, it's double XP. Can I use the crossbow? I've been meaning to level this up for so long. <laughs> but I want to talk about something else. I have a piece of advice for you all. After going to Momocon and watching the PlayStation Showcase, yes, I got my first crossbow kill. Let's go. I forgot what I was saying. Gaming is sick. I just love gaming. Going to Momocon was great. The showcase was awesome. Just sitting on my couch and enjoying the show. Gaming is so much fun. Gaming is something that I'm just so passionate about and I enjoy and I, yes, very good. And I just love gaming so much. Words cannot describe how much gaming means to me. I genuinely don't remember a time where I wasn't playing a video game. I was playing video games before I could even walk. Back on the Nintendo 64. That is a crazy concept. That's right, I got a crossbow kill. Let's go, let's keep it moving. That's right. Oh. Something that I wanna reiterate to you all as just a friendly reminder, the gaming world is so vast and there's so many options for gaming. Always remember to have fun. If you're not having fun playing a certain game, I understand that people want to be competitive, they want to be the best of the game, but just remember at the end of the day, gaming is for fun. If being the best at a game is your version of having fun, go for it. If playing all kinds of games and not sticking to one game is your version of fun, go for it. If playing video games for less than an hour of day is your version of having fun, go for it. Watching the showcase and going to Momocon and seeing all kinds of gamers just kind of reminded me of that fact. So friendly reminder, my advice, have fun. Gaming is fun. 2023 is definitely the year that I want to branch out and play games that also bring me joy. For example, I've already said it so many times. I already played Spyro. I sat on my couch and played Spyro and it was so delightful. It's, I, well, I shoot crossbow. I only have one. I am, this is not good. I cannot wait to play Metroid Prime Remastered on live stream. I still want to play Dead Space 2. I want to play Portal RTX. I want to play some Borderlands. Very good. These, I, this map in particular. I mean, look at what I'm doing right now. Victory winning the game is what I'm doing, but I'm talking more so about the crossbow. Should I be grinding and unlocking Orion right now? Probably, I don't feel like it because I don't think it'd be as fun as using the crossbow. <laughs> Didn't I have unlocked Orion quite a while ago instead of grinding up the crossbow? Yes, but the crossbow is way more fun right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna grind a camo unless I'm having fun doing it. That's why I take my time. But just a friendly reminder, I am grinding it. Here's the next batch of guns that I gotta do. I accidentally unlocked the M16 gold. Yeah, the M16 is not very good. I had one good game with it and I had too much fun and I got gold. What in the world? The M16 of all weapons, really? Oh, Hannah. But yes, moral of the story, remember, gaming. But moral of the story, gaming, fun. Gaming is for fun, for stress relief, for a good time. Remember to have fun when playing video games. And you know what else? Remember to stay hydrated while playing video games. Drink some water. I don't have any water in here, unfortunately. I drink it all. But water is very good for you. I do highly recommend. I would take a sip, but I can't. Could you take a sip, please? One for you, one for me. Thank you. I think it's everything I want to go ahead and talk about for today's video. I'm going to go to the lake here in a bit and meet some people. So excited to meet other boaters. And when I come back, maybe I'll grind the crossbow some more. Or maybe I'll play some Spyro. Or maybe I'll play some Animal Crossing. I'll do whatever is fun. Though truth be told, I think I want to play some more COD to get used to this controller. It's so good. It's so good. I'm just not. <laughs> 
Anyways, like, comment, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video, whatever I make. Bye bye. Bye bye. What a good day. I literally feel perfect today, and I don't know how else to describe that. I feel just elevated. I feel happy. I feel just delighted to be here. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good day, and I hope that you have a great day too. Okay, bye. Bye.